It's very easy to collect the oil. The products needed to produce it are readily available and there's plenty of diesel vehicles out there um, and more coming on the market every day. The, the joke is, is that whenever Exxon and BP want a serious piece of the biodiesel action, they're just gonna buy their way in and they can. I mean, they could flip a switch tomorrow and buy every plant in North Carolina if they wanted to. Um, the, the point though is, is that taking, I would like to see the industry guard its independence. And, and you know, the industry is also working on a sustainability um, certification for biofuels, which I think is absolutely crucial because it, I'm sure you've seen the, the bad press about, you know, rainforest destruction for soybean plantations in Brazil and, you know, palm oil plantations in, in India. I mean, these are real things and these are real problems that the biofuels industry faces. You need waste oil, you need sodium hydroxide, and you need methanol. Um, the amount of sodium hydroxide depends upon the free fatty acid content of the oil. The nastier the oil, the more food that's been cooked in it, the more sodium hydroxide you'll need to add to the methanol to make sodium uh, methoxide. The waste oil is heated to a temperature of about 120 degrees. At that point, the methoxide is then introduced and circulated within the waste oil for a period of approximately two to three hours. You're gonna have unwashed biodiesel on top and glycerin in the bottle. The glycerin is drained off and then the biodiesel is washed with normal tap water until you have approached a clarity to which you can read a newspaper through it.